So we was talking about uh, the catfishing photos where, like, <laughs> the house looked one way, so you get there. I was seeing, so, like, the fireplace, you'll see a photo in the fireplace, and the buyers get there, like, this This is an artificial fireplace. Why right. is it a fire in there mm-hmm. on a photo? So a lot of times what people don't know is when we hire photographers to come out, sometimes the photographers will just send the photos with all their edits and it's up to us to decide and upload them. But if you got an assistant, they just like, oh, this house looks gorgeous and just upload everything. So it's some due diligence. But to the buyers, I don't know. Y'all tell me, what have you seen? with Catfish. I mean, buyers be mad (laughs) as hell. I literally have looked at a house and like, I'm really good at looking at the photos. So sometimes before uh, my clients go out on appointments, I say, hold on, let's go through these photos. So like I did it this morning. Um, the lady wants to see condo. It seems like it's a nice con- con- condo. It didn't. The, it didn't have a super heavy filter on it. However, I was just like, you know, I understand that this house is gonna probably need a fresh coat of paint. You may want to change the flooring. You might have to either shampoo the carpet or get all new carpet, because. Um, buyers overlook that kind of thing when they're looking at the photos just because they can't see it. They just kind of flip in. They're looking at the room sizes right. and the photo has a filter over it. They get to a house and they're like, oh, shoot, I didn't even know it needed this much work. Right. Like, yeah. So from a seller's, from a listing agent standpoint, I don't like that. You know what I mean? I, th- I feel right. like that's a waste of time on everybody's Everybody. behalf. You know what I mean? Like I'm right. not trying to. I don't want the photo that's not giving a true depiction of the house because when the person gets there, typically they're disappointed and, you know, uh, you wasted all your time. You know what I mean? You could have gave a a true photo of the house, maybe a little bit of touch up, you know what I mean? Just a little bit of, you know, just a little bit of touch up so that people understand what it is they're going, they got reasonable expectations when they get there. Mm -hmm. Those photos we talking about. Almost like the the women that you know that look one way and then they put on all the makeup and then you see right. them and they got all the makeup on you're like damn and they take them you, you you see them the next morning with the makeup off and yeah. you're like what the so hell I, I'm I'm glad you said that because I told my wife I said man if I was single right now I'm going swimming on the first day right like, we going swimming right so yeah that's so with <laughs> with the um with the photo so I tell I tell everybody. You want quality photos, but you don't have to um, do makeup and editing and all the photoshop on the photos. I've seen photo. I've seen a whole hole in the ceiling edited. I mean, like a whole a, a ceiling caving in. Right. Edited it like it was there. You if you like right. if you look real close, you could see it. But I'm like, what in the world? This like it was a um it was a distressed property. Right. And it because of the editing, it looked like. This was a habitable property. Right. So, like Shaka said, it's a waste of time. But I think there's also a value in that, too, right? Because if if you're fooling people on the photos, the house is staying on the market longer. People are disappointed. Yep. So, they're either not putting in offers on your house, or if they are putting in offers, they're now they may be lowballing, potentially. Right. So, there's a value add to, to me to showing true and accurate photos. Yeah, I think, too, like, Now, there is one strategy that I've used before where, like you said, that home has the the ceiling Mm -hmm. messed up. So you'll take a property because I don't I'm not real creative. I don't have that vision Mm. to go in and design and decorate. So if somebody showed me a house the way it looks now and then they have some um, like some potential what the home could be photos and you say, this is what it looks like. This is what it could be. Mm-hmm. I would love that as mm-hmm. a buyer I've because seen that. now I would get those photos. But with, with sellers, I think from the seller side, a lot of sellers will go on like, oh, I've seen my house online. I don't like how the photos look mm-hmm. or can they touch this up? And I'm like, no, we don't want to touch mm-hmm. it up because now you're going to set the expectation here and the buyer's going to get here and be disappointed. But we show what it really is. And those people still come look at it. That's your buyer. There it right is. There, there it yeah. is. But mm-hmm. I'm gonna tell you the photos I hate. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. I hate when agents take photos. I have agents. I'm not really against camera phone photos mm. if you do it right. But I hate when the photo don't show the whole room or they mm-hmm. got just like you in the room and it only show like the corner. If you're a seller and your agent does that. 
you probably want to reconsider that or have them take better photos. I, I had an agent show a photo on a property, and it's out their window from their car, and you can see the rib, you can see the <laughs> side mirror on the photo, and you can see like an angle of the house. The way it was angled, you can't tell which house was listed, mm -hmm. right? So I'm like, what, what sense do that make? Like, who would trust you to list their property, and they just got a photo at an angle showing two properties? And they side mirror. They was paying 1%. That's what they get. Get what you pay for. No. <laughs> well, that could be it. The agent probably couldn't afford to. But, I mean, at least put the effort in and get out your car, stand at the curb, and take a good square shot photo of the actual property. So, understand, you get what you pay for. Right. Right? So, if you want professional photos, right. and you want your house represented the right way, you got to pay at least for a commission. Well, yeah, and the, but the agents should negotiate that or include that in their package when they say what they're going to do. Mm -hmm. Because here's the thing, from an agent standpoint, I have to pay this photographer whether your house sells or not. Mm -hmm. You can call me tomorrow and be like, oh, I changed my mind. I'm out of a couple hundred dollars mm -hmm. already, not including if I did a drone footage, if I did the uh, um, night, oh, nighttime oh, the photos, so the like, virtual tour, <laughs> and the video for your yeah. home. So, yeah, but photos are important, but we don't want no catfish photos. <laughs>